Broadcasting from Ken Island High School on Thursday, September 7th. This is your Buck Report. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about today's events and meetings. Due to the safety of our students, we will once again be postponing slash canceling all outdoor activities home and away today. Golf will be rescheduling their golf matches against several schools at the Prospect Bay Country Club. However, they will be having pictures. These will now be held here at KIHS after school. Stay tuned for new details about time and location. Our varsity women's soccer game that was to be held at Wicomico High School will be rescheduled as well. We were to have a JV football game today with our team traveling to City College. Good news, that game will now be at Saturday at 10 a.m. in lovely Baltimore, Maryland. What will definitely happen is our JV and varsity volleyball team shall be hosting North Dorchester here in our gym. These games will start at 4. It was a great start to the season on Tuesday, so come cheer on these ladies for an exciting time. For other teams and practices, please look for a message from your individual coaches as to where and when your practices may or may not take place. As always, good luck to all our Bucks. Good morning, everybody. Starting next week, we will have college reps coming to Kent Island High School in order to help promote and talk about their college or university. Starting next week on September 11th, we have University of Maryland College Park. They are right here in Maryland. So if you are interested in attending College Park or learning more about this school, please make sure you go on to Naviance and sign up under the College tab. Um, so they will be here on Monday, September 11th. Next, on Wednesday, September 13th, we have Rutgers University, New Brunswick in New Jersey. You can sign up for this if under the College tab on Naviance. And then last but not least, for next week, on Wednesday, September 13th, we also have Washington College coming to visit as well. Washington College is right in Chestertown, Maryland, so not too far. In order to sign up for any of these college rep visits next week, you must be a junior or a senior. Um, if you are unsure on how to log on, again, you will go under Naviance under the College tab. But if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to your counselor. So if you're a senior, you will reach out to Ms. Troyer. And if you're a junior, you will reach out to myself, Ms. Ireland. Hope to see you all sign up soon. Bye. And now for a look ahead. Attention seniors, please join your class of 2024 in the stadium tomorrow morning to greet the sunrise and start our final year off right. Breakfast will be provided and good times and great photos are sure to follow. Set those alarms early and join us for the class of 2024 senior sunrise, 6 a.m. in the stadium. At lunch tomorrow, we'll have a past graduate, Colin McConnell, from the U.S. Navy here during all lunches to talk to students interested in the Navy. He is a recent boot camp graduate who will soon be stationed in Hawaii. Feel free to stop by his table at lunch to see all of the opportunities the Navy has to offer. Did you see the commercial on the Buck Report yesterday about joining theater? You mean this one? Exactly. Well, I'm thinking about doing it. Theater? But you've never acted or done any tech before. Well, you don't need to have any theater experience to do the productions here at Canada High School. Seriously? Totally. So I'm in. Me too. When do we start? There's a meeting tomorrow directly after school in the auditorium until 3 p.m. All interested actors and tech students must attend to see Mr. Reagan before the end of the day tomorrow. What's the meeting about? Students interested in auditioning will receive an audition packet that has the monologues and the scenes that will be used for next week's auditions. Interested actors and tech students will join the Schoology page to meet Mr. Reagan, Mr. Ward, and Ms. Loveday. Awesome. I'll be there tomorrow after school, too. I'm stoked. Same. See you then. QAC Goes Purple is a substance abuse awareness program that empowers our youth and our community to go purple as a sign of taking a stand against substance abuse. Each school is asked to participate in creating an installation this month. Interact Club will be meeting Monday directly after school until 3.30 in Portable 3. Please contact Ms. Phelps with any questions. There will be a sad meeting for returning and interested members on Tuesday directly after school in room 252. For questions or more information, please reach out to Mrs. Seiwald. Studies Honor Society is accepting applications for membership. Applicants must have completed two social studies classes, attended KHS for at least one full semester, have a 3.0 GPA and a 3.5 average GPA in social studies classes. See your social studies teacher or stop by Portable 2. Number two in the building, number one in our hearts. For an application, applications are due to Mr. Robbins by 2.30 p.m. next Friday, September 15th. 
Please contact Mr. Robbins with any questions. Attention all men's lacrosse players. There will be a lacrosse meeting on Tuesday, September 19th from 2.45 to 3.15 p.m. in the auditorium. All returning and potential candidates for this program, 9 to 12, should attend this brief interest meeting. Applications are now open for the Science National Honor Society and close on September 22nd. Pick up an application from Ms. Carmine in room 112. We'll help run the science trivia night. And we also compete in the Maryland Science Olympiad. We, we want, want you in the Science National Honor, Honor Society. Society. October 1st, the Not My Child and Giving the Edge Foundations are joining forces to host Anthony's Run at the Edge Arena. This event will support both foundations and spread awareness to our youth about opioids. Anyone 18 and under can run slash walk for free. You're encouraged to register, volunteer, or put a team together. Let's go out and win the day. That's all the time we have today. Have a great day and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. He is a recent boot camp graduate who will soon be stationed in Hawaii. Feel free to stop by his table to <laughs> see, see your social studies teacher or stop by portable two. Number two in the building, number one in our hearts. For an application. <laughs> App wait. <laughs> Attention all men's lacrosse players. There will be a lacrosse meeting on Tuesday, September 19th from 2.45 to 3.15 oh. Attention all men lacrosse players. This will be at oh, 45 to 3.15 p.m. in the auditorium. All returning and potential candidates for the program 9 to 12 should be. I was so close. <laughs>